guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by and today is the fourth and happy fourth of july to everyone and today just to make everything short and let's dive in we're gonna be trying the best cuban bakery in la is it the best cuban bakery she goes porter's bakery well i guess the best because they're they've been there for a long time they have really good savory pastries cakes and sweet desserts honestly i've tried almost most of them but they have new ones that i haven't tried yet and that's what some of them are going to be trying today and also um they do have a lot of branches they've been here for a long time and this morning i woke up and i said why not go to portos we're not doing anything anyway for the fort so probably just munch in and stay at home and watch something so anyway let's dive in Liz, this is what i got today at portos all right so let's dive in let's start with the savory pastries whoa here we go we got some potato balls here is the potato balls you know it's like a meat inside it's like a ground pork so let's try it <laughs> people this is really good when it's hot so mm. meaty i oh, know it's pretty good it's soft it's not too um too salty people love this one honestly there's there's peppers inside red and green pepper peppers and i love it so i'm rating this potato balls eight out of ten come on let's move on this is their ham croquet is it croquette croquet <laughs> but this is the okay honestly i've always seen this one but i never really tried it so this is the first time i'm trying it as well so let's try it Ooh. pretty much it is like ham inside and some kind of sauce mm. it is good it seems like um smoked ham inside and cream sauce. I love it. Rating that 8 out of 10. Again, let's move on. This one here is their chicken croquette. And let's try it. Oops. Mmm. First tastes like chicken, but more on the cream sauce. It's just like it tastes really creamy. I'm telling you the truth. I'm rating this seven out of ten. All right, guys. Let's try the empanada. Okay, as a Filipino, we love empanadas. I've already tried this one, but I'll let you know how I think about their empanada. I've tasted a lot of different empanadas. This one is what they have. Yeah. Mm. The meat inside the empanada, chicken empanada, is actually good. What I don't like is the pastry bread. It's just too crumbly. I've tasted, I've tasted some empanadas, but they're not like this. This one kind of like, you know, it's so, um, see, <laughs> I was that flaky and it's not flaky. It's just like really crumbly. So I'm rating this six out of 10. Next one is, well, their signature cheese roll oh my god i think this is what they're actually known for portas it's their cheese roll honestly guys um the dirt cheese roll is really good um this used to be seven dollars a dozen now it's about 
ten dollars i guess like 9.95 for a dozen uh, well that's how it is years and years ago it's seven dollars but i like it it's cheesy with the right amount of sugar you can see that sugar in there but it's glazed sugar as well but it's really good so let's try it honestly i it is really good for breakfast mm. you see how flaky that is love it and the cheese i love it If ever you go to Porter's, this is what you're supposed to try. Always. Their cheese roll. Rating this 9.5 out of 10. And now let's move on to their. This is new. Pineapple empanada. Let's try this. I've never tried this one. So. Oh. Ooh, let's see. Mmm. That's good. I feel like a peach mango pie. Mmm. I think it's a mango. It says an apple in Panada. Kind of tastes on peach mango in there. And I really like the bread. Look at that, it's more solid than the empanada of the chicken empanada bread. And this one is good. Oh my god. I love it. I'm rating this 8 out of 10. One of their best are the besitos. <laughs> I love this one, honestly, as a dessert. I so love it. And here we go. So this is the this is the leche besitos they have. And this is the hazelnut. I have to tell you, this is really good. I have to rate this 8 out, of 8 out of 10. I've tasted this so many times and I love it. And this is just how it looks like inside. You see that caramel chocolatey kind of thing inside? It's dulce, I'm not really chocolatey. It looks chocolatey, but it's dulce de leche. Mm. So good, guys. <laughs> It is a really good dessert. All right. Let me wash it off with their <laughs> Dulce de Leche Ice Latte. Now, their Hazelnut Besitos. Ooh, it's so chocolatey, right? Hazelnut in there. Mm. It tastes a little kind of like a dark chocolate in here but it tastes good as well although i like the dulce de leche better you can try this one it's too chocolatey for me but it's good rating this seven out of ten also <laughs> my son already bit on it this is their um this is their chocolate chip muffin and um i've never really tried it never really tasted it so i'm gonna get a quick bite just to very chocolatey i love the chocolate the chocolate chip muff uh, i mean i love the chocolate chip that they put in it but the bread itself is mostly about the same kind of muffin we can get anywhere i'm rating this six out of ten okay lastly guys i wanted to share with you whoops chocolate croissant and almond croissant Yay! <laughs> I love it. Look at that. Okay. So let's try the chocolate croissant. Oh my god. How much is this one? Um, I think this one is $2.25. Look at that, guys. It's so big. You know, normally when we get like croissants in a coffee shop or something, they're like about $3.75 now. So it's still a good deal, two twenty-five for this big of a chocolate, this big of a croissant, and it's very, you know, I like the chocolate 
like on both sides of them and I'm there is also chocolate inside so let's try it mmm oh it's really good I just want to show you the inside okay there you go chocolatey mmm guys <laughs> actually this is one of my favorite at Porto's, so I'm gonna have to rate this 8 out of 10. It's good. And last but not the least, okay, it's my first time trying their almond croissant. Okay, guys, um, that's powdered sugar, almonds. Let's try it. Mmm, cheese. I love the bread of this croissant. Buttery and a little sweet. But it is pretty good. Look how flaky that is. And this is $2.15. That is actually a really good deal if you think about it. All right. I got their dulce de leche ice latte. You have to try it, guys. It's not too sweet. I bet you. Not too sweet. And I love it. Anyway, I guess that's just about it for today. And um, hope you guys like the video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. And also... Um, don't mind my background such a mess thank you so much for watching and i hope i can make more of this kind of videos i hope you guys like it and i'll see you again next time on my next video and please don't forget to subscribe to support my channel bye happy fourth